Hi guys, today I'm going to make my um mung bean noodles. And um let me see, this is yeah, it is mung bean vermicelli noodles. Vermicelli noodles, that's what I that mean. And this is a very cheap noodles. It costs like only a dollar ninety-nine at the Asian store. So what I have here, um, I have um, sliced pork, and I have chopped um, vegetables, which is carrots, green peppers, um, string beans, and I have um, celery, onions, and garlic. And of course, I am using a coconut oil. So I have two this two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now if I have this shrimp. I am going to cook this um, deep fried shrimp before I'm putting to my noodles. Because our goal this um, meal with this recipe is the noodles will be crispy and then we are going to put on the top of the noodles once it's completely cooked. Okay, so we're going to begin. Okay, so first thing first, we're gonna, we're going to put the um, co coconut oil. Okay. And I use two uh, tablespoons of coconut oil with this um, recipe. Once it's melted this one, I'm going to put, once melting the uh, coconut oil, we're going to put um, the pork first. I want the pork to, we're going to brown the pork. Okay. It's almost. Okay, then we're going to put the um, we're going to put the meat. I just want to brown the meat first. Okay, we're gonna brown the meat first. Okay guys, it's brown, so I'm gonna put my garlic, okay, my onions. Okay, so I'm going to add a cup of um, pork bruise. We're going to put that. Okay. Then we're going to add all the vegetables.
So I have garbage, celery, carrots, bell pepper, and beans. Okay. And then we're going to put this, um, I'm going to put some uh, soy sauce. So I'm going to put soy sauce, guys, probably three tablespoon. Okay. Uh, it's gonna need a little bit more salt, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more soy sauce. Okay, probably another uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce. So now it's a total of five. I don't want to add more salt in it. I just want to use the um, the uh, soy sauce. You have to be careful though. If you're gonna add a lot of soy sauce, do not put any salt until you taste it. It's going to be salty if you just be negligence putting your salt and soy sauce. So we're gonna load it to boil. Then we're gonna remove that from the pan, putting this stuff over back, and then we're gonna get put the noodles. Okay? So stay tuned. I'm going I'm just we're just cooking this half cooked guys because we're gonna mix this, put it back once the noodles is done, okay? So I'm just going to put this back here, my Tupperware. I apologize guys, my dog is barking. My neighbor's dog. You know what, this is a very simple recipe guys, it's easy to make, you know, and um, it's a very quick, 15-20 minutes, you're done. It's really easy to cook. So if you have like quick, quick meal, you know, make some of this. What I did is earlier... Uh, before I drop my grandson to his um, school, I start slicing my vegetables. You know, if you slice your vegetables in advance and put in your Tupperware, it's a lot easier. Okay. So now we're gonna put we're gonna put our noodles. Okay. In these noodles, guys, is a 17 grams of calories. So 17 times four because it was four um, pack. So there will be what, 17, 30, let me see, 440, 17, 14, so there are like 70 uh, carbohydrates, 17 grams, 70 grams, okay. Okay, now I'm going to put back the vegetables, guys. Okay, like this, then we're going to mix it. I'm putting a lot of um, vegetables rather than a lot of more noodles. And the reason for that is because I'm really trying not to eat a lot of carbohydrates, so that's the reason why I didn't put a lot of noodles. Well, still, 70 grams of um, carb, still a lot, but you can eat more because you put a lot of vegetables, so this is what the reason I'm doing a lot of, you know, putting a lot of vegetables. So it's not done yet. 
And this kind of noodles, guys, is quick. Like, you have to be careful. They're overcooked. Um, this is a really good noodles. It's the lowest of um, carb. This is the um, less carbs, like, compared to other noodles. So that's the reason I bought this kind of noodles. Okay, so this is done. So I'm going to put my Tupperware back. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for now, guys, because I have to cook the shrimp, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm going to put, like, one-fourth um, cup of flour, okay? And then I'm going to add the black pepper. Okay, and I'm going to put some pinch of salt. And this is the butter that we're going to dip the, um, <clears throat> what do you call that, the shrimp. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of red peppers. Okay. Then I'm going to add a 4 tablespoon of water, okay, I'm going to, then I'm going to add 2 eggs, so this is our, um, our shrimp butter. this really well. The reason I added the um, hot paper uh, powder was I want to have like a little bit kick on my um, shrimp. Okay. So we're going to stir this really well. Okay. Still have some white eggs. Let's see here. I think this is ready, guys. I stir it really well. Okay. Now we're gonna put the shrimp here. I'm going to use my clean hands, okay. I did not remove the shell. I want this, um, because we're going to cook this really um, crispy and you'll be able to eat including this, uh, the shell. And if you don't want it, then you, if you don't want to eat the shell, then you can remove it, you know. So, yeah. And I already cleaned really well the, um, the shrimp.
I'm gonna mess my hands. We're gonna cook the shrimp, guys. Uh, five minutes, both side, each side rather. So five minutes, each side. Okay. That means total of cooking for the shrimp it's ten minutes. Because our goal is to crispy. You know, we want crispy shrimp. So yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna do plating, so we're gonna put it on the plate. Okay guys, so I'm plating now, put some noodles and deep fried shrimp, okay, here we go guys, it is uh, mung beans noodles with a deep fried crispy shrimp. If you like to, um, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe on my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notification. Um, please share, comments, and share to your family and friends. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, for your time and your patience. God bless you all. I love you all. Bye-bye.